just gone through the hardest thing probably that any of us will ever face. Uh, and something, yes, let us, let us hope. Uh, you know, something that we never saw coming, no one could ever plan for, uh, no one would think about. It. And uh, while all the rest of us were told to stay home and to stay safe, and we were struggling with our jobs uh, and thinking about how we can't see family, all of you, led by incredible <laughs> Dr. Neil Smaller, really stepped up and made sure that the rest of us could live our lives safely. Think back to where we were, nobody knew who was getting vaccines when, nobody, there was a very small number. Uh, you know, most of them were going to urban centers, most of them were going to the cities, not to communities like ours. And it takes really a strong leader who's not gonna take no for an answer, who is able to do it to start to get us on the path to get those vaccines. And then it takes incredible volunteers and dedicated community members like all of you to step up and put your lives on the line to make sure that the rest of the community at large could get the things that we needed. Once Neil was able to get the vaccines, we needed people to help with that. And you all stepped up to do it. Because we can now celebrate that our businesses are opening, that our kids can be back into camps. Uh, that we can start to see our families and hug the people, right? All the things that we took for granted, we can do and we could do early in Ulster County because of the work that you, Neil, and all of you did to get us there. Sometime, I think in about August or early September, you started to talk about vaccine clinics. We've got to be ready and we've got to start to think about this. And probably around November, you were really getting serious about it. And you were spending a lot of time talking about it. And um, it was probably sometime in December, we walked over to the community center, we walked around. We had grand plans. We were talking about it, put a thousand people a day here. <laughs> so January comes and we get a hundred vaccinations, but you got 120 shots out of that. The next week, I think we did uh, 200, we got 240. And then the following week, I know we did another 10% on top of whatever we got. Yes. And we were up to the races. Yep. Um, there was a lot of frustration during that time, though. There were starts, um, but you never gave up. You never got down. You were always optimistic, positive, and you adapted. You reinvented things. We were constantly looking and changing and adapting. And um, today, you're guilty of taking over 37,000 people. It's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Yeah. You did a great job. You yeah. couldn't have done it without a great honor. Yeah. 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 First, I want to ask uh, Town Clerk Michelle Sever to come up with a little bit. Hello. Good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> I, as many others, work alongside Neil um, at the community center here in Woodstock, and it's with great honor that I present to him today the Certificate of Appreciation, which reads, the town of Woodstock presents a certificate to Neil Smaller of the Village of Pothecary in recognition of your committed valuable service in playing a major role in the fight against COVID-19. Thank you for going above and beyond and taking the town of Woodstock to great heights of success. You are an inspiration and change the impossible work it's a possible one. Congratulations on a job well done. So, Rennie Cantine was asked to make this for you. That's really awesome. And wow. so he did. Wow. So he did. Turn around a little bit. Usually it's just the pig, but in this case we added the syringe. Got it. <laughs> so, it says, so it says on the plaque, the key to Woodstock presented to Neil Smoller in appreciation for all that you gave to Woodstock, presented by Bill McKenna, town supervisor. What is it, open the food pantry? <laughs> <laughs> Things that people won't know who were not present, who all of us know. And one, uh, if your friends or family knew you were a volunteer, your phone, your text messages, your Facebook messages were ringing off the wall because everybody was calling you trying to get a vaccine. And if you did volunteer, I know that first day when there was 1,700 and 
started to use it was crazy. And then by the time we got to that first day where there was 35 or 3,600, it was a piece of cake in one day. And, but at the end of the day, and many of us put in 12 hour shifts, at the end of the day, as exhausted as we were, and often didn't even get to meet the person sitting next to us because it was that crazy of a day, every day. Um, about two hours before, Neil was counting down the numbers. And he did not want to, and we did not want to waste one vaccine. And so every single one of us was on our phones, on our text messages, on our Facebook messages, contacting every single person, and that's every volunteer here, to get as many people as to not as not to waste any of those vaccines. And it was so powerful. It was so powerful. And I know that we're all so proud. We're so proud say that thank you for the recognition but I'm going to push it right back to everybody else because it was all of us that did it. So first, Senator Michelle Hinchy, thank you very much for what I'm deeming the Star Wars award ceremony, right? <laughs> right? Thank you for acknowledging these folks and everybody here that came to acknowledge these folks because they're the ones that should be praised at every opportunity for the next 50 years, not even an exaggeration. People should be talking about you for the next generation.